How to make a delicious apple turnover. Let's get into it. In a medium sized bowl, add two and a half cups of all purpose flour. Next, you wanna add 20 tablespoons of cold cubed butter. You wanna mix and squish this between your fingers and the flour until it looks like sand. Make sure all your butter cubes are flattened into small little pieces, roughly about this big. They could be a little bit bigger than that, that's fine, but as long as they're all flattened and mixed in. When all your butter cubes have been mixed in and your dough sticks together like this, you wanna get a half a cup of cold iced water and add that in. Obviously don't add the ice cubes, but you want it as cold, the water as cold as possible. Mix it in. Mix your cold water in until nice dough forms. Once you've got a nice neat dough, you wanna split this up into two balls. Form each dough into a flat disc like this and wrap them up nicely with plastic wrap. Refrigerate your dough for at least one hour so it's nice and chilled. Now it's time to peel, core, and slice our apples. Now if you're using regular sized apples, I'd suggest probably starting off with maybe six to ten. I'm using smaller apples just because that's what we bought, so I'm going to have to use a lot more. Now that you've got all your apples peeled, cored, and sliced, you want to add just enough sugar just to coat your apples. Start off with maybe a half a cup to maybe two-thirds a cup. You just don't want to waste too much. Then you can add cinnamon. You can also add some nutmeg and allspice, whatever you want. Add maybe about two to three tablespoons of e teaspoons of each, depending on your taste. Now when you got everything in a large bowl, to make it more fun, you can just shake it up to mix everything together. Obviously do it with two hands, it's hard to do it with one, but it's a lot funner. Once you got your um, apples all mixed up and coated, put it aside while we roll out our dough. Line a cookie sheet with tin foil, spray it with some Pam spray or grease it with some non-flavored oil and set it aside until we're ready to use it. Spread some flour on a clean work surface. You can start rolling out your dough. Don't forget to put flour your dough on top as well because it'll probably be a little sticky. You want to roll it out to maybe an eighth of an inch thick all around to a nice circular disc. Once you've got your dough out into a nice flat disc, grab your apples and spread it on about half of the dough. So leave half of apples half empty. Once you got all your apples, you want to fold this side over to this side. Leave about a little inch for your apples so you can crimp the dough together. You can use a fork if you want to, but I usually just use my fingers. And I only had like a tiny little bit of excess dough on the edges, so I just kind of rolled it over and pushed it down again. Just to give it an extra seal. Carefully place this onto your prepared baking sheet. Lastly, Lastly, you want to take a knife and make some slits in the top for ventilation. You can make a design if you want to, but I'm just going to make cuts. Make sure it goes all the way through to the apples. Now you want to bake this off at 350 degrees for at least 30 to 40 minutes or until the apples are cooked and your pie dough is nice and golden. When your turnover is golden, take it out of the oven and let it rest to cool down. If you want to add a little extra something something, mix a little bit of cinnamon sugar in a small bowl and sprinkle it on top while it's still warm. Enjoy this apple turnover, hot or cold, however you like. Feel free to try out my homemade ice cream and enjoy it with that as well. Enjoy!